cyanobalamide, cyano, like the word from cyanide, right? <laughs> yeah, so cyanocobalamin is, is a B vitamin, actually. Life as a parent for me changed the day that I started looking at some of the ingredients in my child's drinks. Big mistake. Yeah, look at this, 30 grams of sugar. Kids can't handle this stuff. My kids love these. Five calories, 0% on just about everything. Looks like it has some vitamins. As in life, chill for best results. That's kind of funny. Sucralose. There is a science to it. Way back when, our ancestors wouldn't come in contact with carbohydrates and sugars very often, so their body craves it, so that when they get it, they load up. So we have this rule in our house, no soda, uh, definitely no drinks like this monster energy drinks, just any real energy drink at all. So we've been trying to come up with these sort of healthier solutions, and the kids recently landed on these sparkling ice drinks. So I wanted to sort of zoom in on these ingredients. Typically the product lists the ingredients on the back is in order of abundance in the drink. In this case, apple juice concentrate is number one. Not surprising. Juice from concentrate is essentially juice that has had all of its nutrients and its fiber sucked out of it. So all you get is this sweet, very, very sweet drink with little to no fiber content, which means it doesn't digest as well. And all you're left with is this syrup that's just loaded with sugar. According to North Coast Organic, I looked this up, China is the world's largest exporter of juice concentrate. In fact, two thirds of the world's juice concentrate comes from China. The country has been called out in recent years, especially when it comes to some chemicals and fertilizers that they're using. So that's not encouraging, but something to think about. Another big ingredient, citric acid. It used to be from a natural fruit until scientists kind of realized they could make it in a lab instead. The next one has kind of a scary name, potassium benzoate. They write to ensure freshness. Love how they spin the ingredients to make them sound so positive. Healthline reports this is a preservative that is used to prevent growth like bacteria and mold in the product. And more studies are needed, but Healthline points to at least one study which links potassium benzoate to ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. More ingredients here, you have gum arabic, green tea extract, not enough caffeine to really matter, red dye 40, the verdict's still out on red dye, ester gum, calcium disodium, they say to protect flavor. Now to the big one, sucralose. What is sucralose anyway? It's a no calorie sweetener. It takes just a very tiny amount to match the actual sweetness of the real sugar. It's permitted by the US Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, but the body has a hard time breaking it down. It can't really absorb any of it, so you get the sweetness and then you just kind of pee it all out. The stuff is everywhere and it's used as a substitute to the real sugar, which is seen as white death. I wanted to see what a clinical nutritionist had to say about this. First of all, they, they are potently sweet. These are like 506 times as sweet as table sugar. So it's interesting, if you introduce something like that into your body, it's altering how your brain is functioning. It's altering how you're thinking about food. We know studies have shown, at least in mice over time, if you give them these artificial sweeteners, there is a shift in their gut microbiome and they are really important to our functioning. So in my opinion, it's probably okay to drink a couple of these, but if we were to drink these long-term, you just wanna be a little bit conscientious because we don't know exactly what will happen long-term. So if you have to choose between real sugar, which we hear so many people call the devil, uh, or sucralose, which would you choose? So I tell people sugar is not a, an evil thing. It's not a bad thing. So naturally sweetened um, uh, juices are an okay thing. Our general approach in our household is to minimize those. Don't be fearful, enjoy life, but have good balance in sort of your baseline. Your strength is your baseline of having like high quality foods and, and you should be able to enjoy the other things in, in life as well if you have a good strong baseline of high quality. So my wife and I kind of decided we're not gonna let the kids drink any of these sucralose drinks on a regular basis. Like Dr. Lee said, it is good in moderation. Moderation is key. One thing that we like to do with these kinds of drinks is put it on ice and maybe a fancy looking glass, make the kids feel, you know, like they're a part of the adult crowd. At the end of the day, it is still way better for you than soda and of course energy drinks. If you wanna see more content, hit the like button below and subscribe if you haven't already. Work hard, play hard, stay happy and healthy. We'll see you next time.